Hi, now what I want to walk you through is your syllabus. Your syllabus is the map of your course. So it's really important that you print this off and check it through carefully, read it, watch the video that I'm making right now, watch it right through to the end. Most videos that if you watch it right through to the end, sometimes there's some very key things all the way through. Now I'm going to walk you through step by step some of the things that are important to point out in your syllabus, okay? On this page here, you're noticing that it's a basic information piece. You know, what your course is about basically, how to contact me, and what's really important about how to contact me is that email is the way you need to contact me through your student email. And what's important is do not send me an email with no subject. Always put a subject in in every email. One, it's important for me to know what it is you need and if it's put in your course, whether, you know, what course you're taking, then that tells me a little bit narrows down about the, um, the type of information you're asking for from which course. I teach four courses. I have over 200 students. So two things, your subject indicate something about what you're needing and sign it so I have an idea who you are. Now, the other thing you notice here is your textbook. And if you're wondering, yes, your textbook's necessary. Now, unlike an in-class where you will be in class for three hours in the course of the week, this is an online class and you won't be in class for that length of time. So what's really important about that is that you're gonna have to make time in your day or your week to dedicate three hours or more to your online class the same as you would in an in-class. Now I'm going to make videos for you but I won't be making videos that are three hours long. I'll make one or two videos that can be anywhere between 15 and 30 to 40 minutes maybe and that's it. So the rest of your information or the information that's going to augment your learning is coming from your textbook. So yes the textbook's necessary. All right so that's that information there. Now what you're seeing is a week by week breakdown of what week we're in, week one, week two, week three, and so on, what the content of that week will be. Now this week by week breakdown matches what you'll find in Blackboard. I have a week one folder, a week two folder. So everything that's in week one on your syllabus will be in week one in your Blackboard shell. Not only does it indicate what we're going to do, but where in the textbook, you know, what chapter to be paying attention to, and that there's a video posted in week one folder that you can watch that's going to help you with that information. Okay? Now you'll also notice that your journals, your tests, and your assignments are listed in your journal, uh, sorry, in your syllabus. And what's important about that, as you notice, is that there's days in which things are open and days in which things are closed, or there are due dates. So it's your responsibility, this is why I think you should print it off, use your calendar as a way of marking in when things are open and when things are closed. Because once they're open, they're open. Once they're closed, they're closed. Now I've made a short little video here on how to use your calendar in case you're not familiar with that. If you have a cell phone or a tablet, you no doubt have a calendar app. Most of them are built in with those. If you don't, go ahead and pick one up uh, at your app store or whatever. But you generally just click on your app, it opens it up, and it gives you uh, a, a calendar view either by day, by week, by month, by year. But I want you to just to make an addition. Now you click on a plus sign in this case, you may find that you have an app that has a different way to add an event. So we're going to add assignment. And we're going to say assignment one. Now you'll notice um, as you do more of these, it'll add where you can replicate the, um, uh, the entry because it'll keep track of what you've done. Now what you can do here is we're going to say a date of Friday the 25th at 5 p.m. It's going to end at 6 p.m. it's showing. And we're going to put an alert. You see the alert button there. And we're going to say one week in advance, but you could set that alert earlier for yourself. Now, in addition, if you come down to notes, you can indicate and create some notes for yourself. Now, it might be that um, you want to say something, maybe uh, do research beginning September 15th. 
14. Okay, now if you're happy with that, you just go add, and then there's your assignment. So in one week earlier, it's going to remind me, it'll say, there's my notes, and now I don't have a likelihood that I'm going to forget things. So make sure you incorporate all your materials from all your classes, but certainly from your online classes, because you don't have a classroom to go to, into your cell phone or into your um, tablet. All right, I hope this has been helpful and enjoy the rest of the semester. Now, once you put things in, be aware that once they're closed, they're closed. They won't be reopened. So it's your responsibility to make sure that you go into the week. So you see there's a journal. It's available in week two for your uh, online agreement. So that journal opening will always be in week two for you to post that document for me, your checklist. Now, if you notice the test, it's in week four, week five, or week six, or whatever week it's in, and it's open for five days. So go into the week um, in Blackboard, go into the folder in the week that the test is posted in on your syllabus. That's where the test will be located. The journals are open for two weeks. And if it's open in week six, you go into the week six, even if we're in week seven, because they're open for two weeks, that journal lives in week six. So that's why this is so important. So you have two pages of that, and then you also have a breakdown of the course breakdown in terms of what stuff is worth what, when is it due. And so it gives you an idea, an overview of what's expected. So mark those things in your calendar. Now you're seeing um, a combination of some additional information, whether it's course policies and procedures to look at um, what are your rights and responsibilities, uh, appeals, um, wh under what circumstances can you get extensions, now I've put a separate video on that. You'll have received that in your uh, first week. Am I an online learner? I talk about extensions and under what circumstances, so make sure you watch that. And then you're also seeing student services, um, where they live, uh, who they are, and what they do. Those are services that come a part of your tuition. And because student lives are complicated, you know, you're not just a student, you're sometimes a parent, um, you're also an employee. Uh, you have more complicated lives and things can creep up on you. So student service is a great place to go get some support. So this is your syllabus. This is your map of the course. Print it, put things in your calendar, put alerts in like I showed you how to do to remind you when things are done. Because if you miss a journal or you miss a test, I'm sorry, you've missed it. And now the rest of your semester is going to be based on a mark less that particular um, activity, test, or journal. All right. I hope this has been helpful. I hope the videos will be helpful for you. So please make sure that you watch them. Uh, watch them right through to the end. And in the folders, make sure you scroll right through because some things I might have posted more things and they may not be on your uh, um, complete screen. So feel free to scroll down and find everything there. If you have questions, please feel free to email me, subject in your name, and please read the document and watch the video before you email me with the question, okay? That'll help me know better about what your needs are and less about just trying to explain the whole thing to you. That's your responsibility. I will help you with everything else that I can do to help you with. All right? So good luck, everybody. I look forward to this semester with you, and I hope you enjoy the content of the course.